Hi, I'm Matt Prashazny. You know, one of the best parts of working at a place like Vista Grand Villa is hearing the stories and the history behind each and every one of our residents. With the 80th anniversary of the attack of Pearl Harbor coming up this year, I decided to catch up with our own Herb Elfring, who survived the attacks when he was only 19 years old. This is his story. My name is Herb Elfring. I was in the 251st Coast Artillery Regiment. That was a uh, National Guard regiment located in California. And I specifically joined Battery A of the regiment in San Diego. This was uh, in January of 1940 and uh, the reason for joining the National Guard was uh, pretty much just to make an extra dollar uh, because uh, that time of the year and, and uh, in time the depression was still not over and uh, if you could make an extra dollar, why well, you did. <laughs> well, that was fine. I, uh, I would go to uh, a drill on the weekend and then in the summer of 1940, we went uh, on the usual two week encampment, uh, which happened to be up in uh, the state of Washington area. And uh, we just nicely got back from that and on September 16th, 1940, the National Guard Regiment was activated full time <laughs> and uh, located in uh, Ventura, California. On November, in November 1940, the, uh, the regiment was uh, uh, relocated to uh, uh, the island of Hawaii, or the island of Oahu in Hawaii, specifically located near uh, near Honolulu. We arrived there, I believe it was November 5th, 1940. Well, we uh, uh, lived in, in tents, of course, and uh, quite a while, and it was finally, finally arranged that uh, a area was uh, located for, for which we should build our own camp, which happened to be named uh, Camp Melancholy, not too far from uh, uh, the harbor of Pearl Harbor. Uh, we would uh, uh, work building the camp uh, in the morning as a rule and maybe do some, uh, some kind of army maneuver possibly in the afternoons uh, as, a, as a rule. Well, that, uh, that uh, took place from the time we arrived in Honolulu in uh, November 1940 and, and uh, all through 1941 until uh, December 7th, 1941, when the Japanese uh, uh, attack Pearl Harbor. Specifically, though, in uh, on Camp Malakoli, uh the morning of uh, uh, December seventh, uh, nineteen forty-one, uh, I had eaten breakfast and was uh, reading our bulletin board. Uh, just standing outside when I heard an airplane coming and didn't think much about it. And uh, the next thing I heard, I heard was a line of uh, uh, strafing bullets passing past me about 15 feet away, <laughs> which uh, also crossed the street and hit a soldier that was still in bed being Sunday morning. Uh, he was hit in the stomach area, but but survived and was sent back to the United States. 
Anyway, um, that uh, took just a few more minutes until the word got out that we were being attacked, of course. Uh, after this uh, the strafing, this plane was the, the strafe went past me and I looked up and saw the red ball insignia on the, on the fuselage of the, of the plane. I said, well, that's a Japanese plane. <laughs> so uh, the squad leader got us out to the radar and uh, just as our, our uh, workplace, you might say, next thing we heard was another, another plane coming over and uh, we looked up and saw it coming, and I all jumped underneath the, the radar and uh, for protection, I guess. And that was uh, a Japanese Zero, really, not not a bomber of any kind, but a plane that was able to just strafe. And uh, again, the line of bullets just went past when we were huddled underneath the, the radar, went past us and. The line of bullets uh, was probably 15 feet away from most of us, and uh, it severed the power cable that went between the power generator and the uh, and the radar. And uh, I guess that was the limit of the of the uh, excitement that I experienced during that morning. On the way to the Philippines, we experienced a kamikaze diver that happened to choose a ship that was uh, in convoy next to me on, on uh, what would be the left side. And uh, uh, when the kamikaze diver dove down for that ship, for some reason, he missed his target and landed there and, and dove and it hit the water just behind the, the the rear end of the ship and no no problem, no, no damage was done. So anyway, we, we landed uh, uh, on uh, the Philippine island of Luzon with no, no resistance, uh, probably because every, every ship that was in the harbor that morning had been sh shelling the, the, the uh, the landing spot, and we did not experience any any resistance at all. As it turned out, our action on uh, the island of Luzon was minimal because uh, 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 the Japanese were 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 forced to retreat back toward the homeland more by that time, and uh, we did not see any action on the island of Luzon. In July of 1945, I had the opportunity to return to the United States for reassignment based on the fact that I had 125 points that I had earned from just having been in the South Pacific so long. I uh, uh, left, left the Philippines in July and landed uh, Landed in uh, uh, San Francisco at uh, the end of July and was um, home on leave in August when the atomic bomb was dropped on Japan. While I was home I, uh, on leave, I got orders to report to, do, to Fort Leavenworth, Kansas for separation from the service. That was before the Japs surrendered. But uh, uh, they knew that the, the, they knew that the war was coming to an end. I'm sure. Anyway, uh, because of leave that I had accumulated, that I wasn't able to take my actual uh, separation date of the, leaving the service was uh, uh, November 18th, 1945. I have been back to Pearl Harbor several times because uh, uh, 
An organization was organized called the Pearl Harbor Survivors Association, and they would uh, uh, meet in Pearl Harbor on December 7th, probably starting in the 1960s, I think. Anyway, I, I didn't get back for that occasion until several times later, but of late I've been back several times. Uh, I was back the last four times, except 19 or 2020, when the COVID uh, uh, prevented us from having a meeting there. And the plan is to go back again this year.